Hey everyone, thank you for stopping by my channel. My name is Mark, and in this video, I am going to be introducing you to the stages of ascension and how I have perceived and experienced ascension on my journey. And this is going to be a multi video series, um, and there will be a playlist, so please be sure to subscribe to the playlist so you can hear all the videos that are going to be upcoming. All right, here we go. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Um, so Ascension, I know there's a lot of content out there about Ascension, various stages, things like that. Uh, there are uh, subtleties in how we, each one of us experiences Ascension, the Ascension process, spiritual awakenings, spiritual growth, that kind of thing. I wanted to create a series to describe what I've gone through and this is not going to be the same as maybe what you've been experiencing. Uh, so I do not do not want to lay out any expectations. I want to explain what I've experienced, what I've experienced from an energetic standpoint, what's really been going on with, with me. And I feel a lot of this is going to resonate with you, probably with some subtleties. But um, it should be really, a really interesting series. So... This video is video number one in the series. And in this video, I wanted to talk about pre-awareness pre of ascension, pre-awakening, okay? So this is the period of time when from birth through up until the point where you really become aware of what's happening with ascension. So this is almost like the, the preface to ascension. When I was younger, I had a lot of interesting experiences. I've always been interested in the supernatural. I've been interested in ETs and aliens. I've talked about this in other videos. Um, ghosts and spirits. I know when I was younger, I experimented with the Ouija board and had some amazing experiences with that. Um, always had a fascination with it. And I've always known that there was more to life than just the life that we see and the life that we're living. There was something greater out there. And always read books on this. Um, a great book is uh, by Ruth Montgomery, The Here and Hereafter, or A World Beyond. I read those books. My, my aunt gave them to me when I was a teenager, and they really resonated with me. Uh, explained what happens when we die, and it was from the, an automated writing perspective on a psychic who had passed came through another psychic and wrote this book. Really fascinating, so I'm very interested. So a lot of us grow up with this sense that there's something more. We have a, a greater purpose. Uh, we're here for something. We really don't know what it is, and it's just there. Now, life tends to take over, whatever it may be. We you know go through school. We, go to college if we go to college we get a job we start a business whatever it may be but this knowing of something greater like there's a greater purpose kind of gets tucked in the back there and it's it's running it's it's there it's just a knowing but we kind of move along life the way society guides us which is to you know get an education get a job get a career um, you know become a homeowner get a mortgage whatever it may be that kind of thing, we move along that line, but yet there's this knowing within us that's anchored that there is something greater here and we are here to do something greater. Now, this is um, this is our soul's purpose, okay? And we have, we have the seed in us, and this is a frequency in us that almost lies dormant, okay? It's a seed really that hasn't been watered. So, in this stage or pre-stage of ascension, as we continue to move along life's path, in the beginning when we're younger, we may feel like, oh, I know there's something greater, but I've, I've got time. Uh, we'll get to that down the road. I know something's going to unfold and open up for me, but I'm still really wrapped up in, in getting my life going and building, building you know, things, assets, building a career. You know, you're in the programming of life. And as we move along life, 
I've experienced this seed start to grow, okay? And now I've got this greater light, more access to this higher frequency light within me that is saying, hey, come over here. We're going to start moving in the direction of what you're supposed to really be doing here on the planet. Now, that starts to grow. And what happens is we have some resistance uh, with what we're doing in life, maybe with our job or relationships or whatever it may be. We start to not really resonate with that anymore. And this is a process that could take years, decades, whatever, but it grows. It grows subtly, okay? And the reason this is growing is because we have a polarity now, a greater polarity between this anchoring of this 5D and higher, higher self soul energy in our body that's activated, it's growing, it's attracting more of the, our soul's energy, our soul's purpose, and that creates resist, more resistance, even greater resistance as we continue to move down our programmed life path, our careers, our jobs, whatever it may be. So the more this light grows, the more we feel resistance in the opposite direction with the life path that we set ourselves on when we were younger. And this is the that stage of ascension that leads up to the next stage, which I'm going to talk about in the next video, which is, you know, a spontaneous spiritual awakening. So we increase, you know, down, keep going down this path that we are having this greater feeling that just isn't resonating anymore. And yet we're not certain about what to do about it. We don't know why it doesn't feel right anymore. So we're still living in ego at this stage, okay? We're not aware of our soul. We're just aware of this feeling that what we're doing in life doesn't feel right. So from the ego's perspective, what do most people do at this stage? They will look to change something in their external. They're feeling for something different and they feel like, well, it must be the situation that's not right. So I'm going to change my external situation and move into another situation and that's going to feel better. So we switch. Maybe maybe it's a relationship. We, we jump ship. Um, if you're married, you get a divorce, you break, whatever it may be. You move in a different direction. It could be a career change, a job change. Hey, I something just ain't feeling right at this job. I'm going to get another job. Okay. And the ego thinks when we change the external, we change our situation, we change how we feel and we're going to feel better. Yet from our soul's perspective, all we're doing is changing the, the situation, the 3D situation. Okay. We're not moving into purpose. So what a lot of us will find is that we'll land in a new job or a new relationship and things are going to be great in the beginning because we're distracted on the newness of it because we made a change and making a change feels good. And that's our soul's way of telling us you're moving. You're not stuck kind of like stuck energy, right? Energy is moving. You're beginning to make a change. Okay. So you move down this different path in life, new career, new relationship, new job. And then after a while you start to ground more of your soul's energy and you're still not really aware of it. But you, when you made that change here on earth to a new job or career, or whatever it may be, you actually moved out of a comfort zone and created more space. So you were able to ground more of your soul, more of your knowing, more of your purpose, yet you still may not be awakened to what it is. So as we move in this new direction, eventually, you know, we grow because we've changed, but that starts to not resonate anymore. And the reason that starts to not resonate anymore is because the same patterns are starting to rear their head. The same patterns that are not in alignment with purpose, these pre-programmed patterns. Okay. Again, the new light that's come in and grounded is showing us what you're doing is not in alignment with frequency. Okay. So we may have cleared some patterns and healed from patterns of moving out of comfort zone a little bit by changing our job, changing our relationship, but we've moved into another earthly situation driven by ego. Okay. Ego controlled. I need to be in a relationship. I need to have another job. that's going to make X number of dollars, that kind of thing. So, we start to clear the pattern of being comfortable. We take risks 
we move into a new situation, we heal a little bit, we create space, more of our light comes in, and we start feeling more resistance now starts to creep up. So we repeat the process. Maybe we'll go into another career, another relate, whatever it may be, right? And that process goes over and over. But the whole time this is happening, we are expanding our consciousness and our body and grounding more of our soul's light. And again, as I said before, this could take, you know, a year, months, a year, decades, whatever it may be. It is okay. No time is wasted. Nothing you've done in the past is wasted. Every journey you have taken, you have learned from that journey. Okay, you have pulled information in that will be valuable later um, that your mind will be able to use as a tool when you awaken and allow your mind to become that tool instead of running your life. So that is what I describe as the pre-awakening um, process of ascension. Okay. Now, in the next video, I'm going to talk about that spontaneous awakening. Now, not everybody experiences a powerful aha moment like I did. That's okay. Some of you may gradually move into that space of where just the light comes on and, and you're like, you know exactly what you have to do. You just start to move into it. So, either way, it's okay. That's the next video. It's going to be really cool. I'm going to talk about what happened with me and um, we'll move on from there into the other stages after that. So I really appreciate you guys stopping by. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And if you have any comments, absolutely go ahead and comment below. I'd love to hear from you. So until next time, thank you everyone for stopping by.